This is Heather. I'm back to do another mani for you guys. Um, I am going to start doing my Christmas ones now. So um, from here until Christmas, they will be all kind of a Christmassy themed mani anyways. Not necessarily just like, you know, full on Christmas, but somewhat holiday themed anyways. Um, if you're new here, my name is Heather. I'm a um, color street stylist, but um, more importantly, I'm a nail addict. I love all different kinds of strips. Um, so, and actually tonight I'm going to try a new one for you guys that I've never used before. So, um, it's not color street at all. <laughs> um, and I, um, do my nails a couple times a week and I film it for you guys. So, um, if you are interested in nails or, um, manicures or endless chatter, um, this might be the place for you, um, cause you'll find all of those things here. So, um, I just realized I never put my bonder coat on, so I'm going to put that on real quick while I'm chit chatting here at the beginning. Um, I have my peely base down and now I'm putting on Orly bonder. I don't know if you can see that in the screen there, but. Um, I use Orly Bonder under every set, whether I'm doing Peely Base or not. Um, if I'm not doing Peely Base, I'm usually putting on um, OPI Nail Envy as my base and then the Orly Bonder. So, um, but the Orly Bonder just helps them stay um, so much longer. So... I use that under every set. Um, I have a bunch of stuff planned out for Christmas manicures. Um, I have several um, mixed manis from Danielle that I'm going to be doing. Um, I might do one of the mixes that I made for you guys. Um, and, you know, then I'm going to throw in some of the um, new Christmas sets, some of the old Christmas sets from previous years that I have. So, um, I've been pretty much doing my nails every day for the last couple of days because I was trying to get a few videos scheduled out so that, like, the next two days I'm going to be working. I'm not going to want to, um, probably film after working, so... Um, I have, that way I'll have some videos scheduled out, so there's still stuff coming out for you guys, even if I'm too tired to film. So, um, I've done my nails pretty much every day for the last couple of days. So, um, tonight I am using the Shibella strips for the first time. So I've never used these before. Um, I bought these on, um, Anna's page on Facebook. Um, I will link it in the description for this, but the nail mail video that I just posted, which, well, I posted it today, but you guys probably won't see this video that I'm doing right now for a few days because I have other videos scheduled to come out. So, um, but her site is linked in that video as well. So, um, I showed you guys these strips in that video and I'm gonna use them for the first time tonight. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna be using these ones, um, they're, uh, I can't remember if the name was on the package, what it's called. Um, let's see. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it didn't have a name on it. So, but this is one of their, um, I, I talked to Anna tonight about them because I wanted to have like accurate information when I was filming this for you guys. So this is one of their new, um, like premium sets. She said they um, go on as close to Color Street as you're going to get with a um, off-brand set. So, um, and then I have a little accent strip pack. And what I'm going to do, I think, I want to use just the lights that are on it. I don't want to use this part. So I'm going to try just cutting them in half and using just the lights. Because um, these ones I want to use with a different set. Um, but I thought the red 
would be a good match with this set. And then the little Christmas lights were super cute. So I think I want to use those for this. So, um, all right, let's get this open. Um, so with the off-brand ones, they're different than Color Street. They're not um, nail polish. They're, um, you know, some of them have nail polish in them, but they're not completely nail polish like Color Street is. Um, and they typically have a different smell to them. They're kind of like a plasticky smell versus like um, Color Street. You know, when you open it, you just get that smell of nail polish, right? So, um, and they don't have to be sealed up the way Color Street does because they don't cure. It's not a, because it's not a nail polish. It's not a curing process like it is with Color Street. So they're just a little bit different. Um, and I'm excited to try these ones for the first time. So I think I'm going to do the accent nail first and then I'll go and do the, um, all the rest of my nails because we'll decide which fingers I want to put this on here and then so I feel like this one might fit my middle finger or my ring finger and this one I don't know maybe my pointer I don't know if it's big enough for the like if I could do my middle finger with this one and my ring finger with that one let's give it a try and see what happens right they're just nail strips. It's not that serious. <laughs> so, all right. So what I was gonna do is just, oh wait, we gotta take the plastic off first. I think there's plastic on here. It feels like it. Maybe there's not. Let's see here. Yeah, there is. I can, there's definitely a plastic on here. Come on. does not want to come away but I can tell there there we go there we go I was like I could feel it there was definitely a plastic over it so I'm gonna take just that part off and let's cut it like right about here probably and see how that works so is this the littler one or the bigger one I think this is the bigger one all right so let's see if we can. These are like stuck on here. Good. They don't want to come off. I'm also being like super gentle because of my I don't want to mess up my base coats. Um come on. There we go. Wow, they are very sticky. That's good. So they'll probably stay pretty well. So this looks pretty sheer. I don't know if you can see on the camera that you can see, like I can pretty much see through it. I can see the gingerbread man through there. Um, but I have a feeling a lot of these, once you put them down, you know, they it doesn't look as sheer. I'm just not sure if this is gonna fit my middle finger is the thing. Let me see how they do, like, stretching. Do they have stretch to them? Mm, a little bit, not much. Let's see. Okay, that fits pretty good. That's not too bad. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to put some heat on these though because it is not they're a little bit thicker these ones um, Anna said these ones here will be not as thick so we'll see how how it goes right all right and then with ones like this too they are not color straight you're not gonna be able to cut it with your finger you're gonna have to either do um, your nips or file the edge off so um because they just again it's not nail polish so it's not like easy to just cut it with your finger so 
Sorry if I'm going off frame. I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to put some heat on this. I have not pulled out my flax bag from Stacy in a while, but I'm going to have to, I think, just to get these, like, smoothed out a little bit here. And then... That's pretty cute, isn't it? The little lights. I think it's cute. All right. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna cut off just the light part. Ooh, the plastic came off easier on that one. That was good. Oh, I didn't wanna pull the whole plastic off though. I don't think it matters. Again, they don't, they don't cure, so it's not gonna be like a, it won't, um, like set up or anything. I think my cat is out there scratching something. I hear I hear a noise. Hopefully it's their scratching pole and not my furniture. So I put on a Christmas mix for you guys while I'm doing these Christmassy nails. I'm not really a super fan of um, Christmas music. I, oh, dang it. I ripped it like just, mm. it's okay. All right, I can fix that. Um, I spent many, many moons working in retail in the mall. And um, if you've ever worked in the mall or been in a mall at Christmas time, before Christmas time, like starting at Thanksgiving time, really. Um, they, they start playing Christmas music right away, um, like before Thanksgiving. And I can't, so I spent so many years just like having it pumped in to my brain for two months um, that I can't stand it for the most part, <laughs> but we're doing Christmas nails, so I feel like we need Christmas music on for Christmas nails. Um, and this isn't bad, it's just instrumental, it's not god-awful singing, so I can do that, I think. I like the color in this, and the, the little lights are super cute. This one went on a little smoother than the middle finger one did, but I think they're still gonna need some heat to kind of like um, flatten out good and adhere to my nail really well. Um, Cause like I keep getting these little lines in it and that's, I don't want that. So I'll have to put some heat on them after. All right, let's do the other side real quick here. So, um, I don't know what I was talking about before that. Oh, just being in the mall and having to deal with Christmas music for like two months straight because they didn't stop after Christmas either. It would be usually until at least New Year's and then, then they would go back to the other stuff, but... God, just sick of it. I got so sick of Christmas music by the time I stopped working retail that I just don't like to listen to it very much. Um, so don't come at me. I know there's a lot of you out there that love Christmas music. And that's fine. It's just not my bag. Um, come on. This one doesn't want to, it's not perforated as well, I think. There we go. All right. Um, I do like the songs more like this one here, that it's like a, um, it's kind of, um, you know, like the hymnal type Christmas music where it's like stuff you would have sung in church. I do like that a bit more than like traditional um, 
Christmas music, which is odd because I'm not a big church person, but I was when I was a kid, so I just tend to like the hymnal type Christmas music more. Um, but I like these little Christmas lights on this. It's super cute. They're probably not super easy to see on the camera because they're not like, they're very um, close in color to the strip itself. And then because the strip is dark, they're probably a little hard to see on camera. I don't know. But there's a string of Christmas lights on both of those. Got a piece on my other finger. Um, yeah. So I sent out the um, mixed mayonnaise to everybody who won um, one of them. I sent those out today. Um, so hopefully those will be coming to you guys soon. I can't wait to see what you guys do with them. Um, come on. There we go. plastic off of this one. Try and save it here. There we go. So, um, yeah. It's supposed to, it was a very nice day here today. It was, um, like, warmer, you know, I mean, considering for its, um, almost December, relatively warm for December. Um, but I heard we're supposed to get a lot of wind and rain and crumminess tomorrow. So ugh, not happy about that. I hate that kind of weather. Um, I spent my day today bringing my car to um, the mechanics because it was making a noise. And it turns out it was a good thing that it was making the noise and it drove me to go to the mechanics because um, both of my front brakes apparently were metal on metal. I did not notice that there was anything wrong with the brakes. What brought me to the mechanics was that um, my front passenger tire was making this like bumping noise for lack of a better word I really don't know what else to call it it was just making this kind of like thumping noise and um so that's what made me bring it in and then as it turns out the brakes were bad and that thumping noise was a wheel hub of some kind that needs replaced so we're looking at a repair bill of over a thousand dollars so that's going to be super fun <laughs> and uh, my car is actually still sitting there because they had to get the part the wheel hub is not going to come until the morning so but as depressing as it is that it's going to cost me a bunch of money to get my car fixed um you know the noise drove me in to the mechanics made me go. Um, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have gone and wouldn't have known that my brakes were basically about to fail um, or that that wheel hub was not good. Um, they said the wheel could have actually, like if it broke, it would have come off. So um, <clears throat> I could have been driving with the kids and the front wheel could have fallen off or the brakes could have failed. So. Um, very expensive, but I know we're going to be safe in the car this winter, so that's, you know, a trade-off, I guess, but, um, does stink to have an expensive repair, but at least I know nothing's going to happen with my babies in the car, you know, um, so it's a good thing that I had that noise going and I made me go in but so yeah I spent a couple hours waiting for them to look at it and diagnose it 
sitting in the waiting room there and then they came and gave me the news. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. I think the small pinky on this one is gonna work for my pinky, so let's see. Um, so that was a super fun morning, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Not much. Okay, yeah, you can definitely feel the difference. So these ones are also Shibella strips, um, but they're not the premium strip, the new premium one. And you can feel the difference. This is definitely like um, more pliable, um, stickier. It's definitely a different feel to this strip. So um, you definitely can tell the difference. Uh. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Ooh, okay. Um, that's really pretty. And she was definitely right. These feel more um, like color streak going on. I know they're not, I know they're not gonna like cure up and stuff like Color Street does, but they definitely feel better going on um, than the other ones did. So I like this. Ugh. Got a piece of the other strip stuck to my thumb here. It doesn't want to come off. There we go. All right, I think I'm gonna try the other end of this strip on my other pinky because I was thinking like maybe I should take the other pinky strip because you can see they're more narrow at the base so similar to the color street ones um, but this one it looks okay still to me even though it's a little wider than um, the other side I think it's still okay so we'll try it out I really like this. I'm probably going to wish that I had just done the whole thing in these because the color of this is just, I mean, it's beautiful. That it's just like this nice rich brown with the golds and the red. It's really pretty. And it's definitely, it's going on a lot easier. If you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's not, like these are kind of wrinkling up a little bit around the edges on my fingers. These ones are definitely not gonna do that. I was not able to cut it with my fingernail. I don't know if you just saw me trying that because it felt like I might be able to, but you can't. So you definitely need to use your nips um, or scissors to cut the end or um, file it off but they definitely feel more um, along the consistency of Color Street as far as like their pliability and how they're sticking to my nail. Um, so I like that. And they have so many designs, like so many pretty designs. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna link the her site for you guys in the description. Um, you gotta go check them out because there's so many more designs in there. You know, it's there's only so much I think that they can do with actual polish, you know what I mean? Um, in Coco is the same, it is polish. It's made, you know, in the same places as Color Street and everything, but um, they have more designs than Color Street does. So I know they can do more than they do with the nail polish, but I think there's also a limit to what they can actually put on a strip that's actually nail polish. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know that they can do all the designs that the other sets, the other kind do just because this is not nail polish. It's essentially a sticker. So they can do different things on it. You know what I mean? Um, but this is definitely, I think, a fair replacement. I feel like it's, um, 
it's going on pretty well. So I like it. We'll see how it lasts. Because like I said, I might do... Um, I might leave it on for a couple days while I'm working and then do another um, Manny on Friday, probably. So I'll have to see how it wears compared to my Color Street um, strips when I leave it for a couple of days. It's super pretty. I mean, it's really nice. I like the color of it a lot. I think I might end up taking off those accent nail strips and just doing um, all my nails in this one because it's, it's really good. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, let's see. Can I put this one on my other pinky or do I, I mean my other pinky, my other pointer. I don't think it's long enough. All right, I'm gonna take out another one. And there's definitely a lot of sizes to choose from on here. Um, come off. The, um, so like, you know, you could find one pretty easy that's gonna fit your finger probably because they've got we've got one two three four five six seven eight sizes on there so that's pretty good um and so I think you know you could easily find one that's gonna fit if you have smaller fingers though I will say that like this is the smallest right that one worked for my pinky. In Color Street, I can't really use the smallest one for my pinky. I mean, I can, but I have to stretch it and I have to use just the larger end of it. Um, so if that gives you an idea on sizing wise, you know, um, you know what? I didn't try to see how these ones stretch. Oh, these ones stretch so much better than those other ones. They do, it's really, it, I mean, other than the fact that I know it's not actually polish um, and, you know, that you can't cut it with your finger, these really do feel and behave like color street strips. So, um, except for that part. So they're really pretty good. I like it. And their prices are good. If you go and look at her site, like... Um, I believe this one was like $6 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but their prices are definitely, um, cheaper, you know? So if you don't get the same amount of wear or you don't get to do as many, you know, manicures out of it, it's not as big of a deal because it's not, you're not paying as much for it. Um, similar to like, you know, Lily and Fox's, Theirs are always like $2.99 and, you know, they don't wear as long for me um, and they don't, like the strips, I can't really get more than one usually manicure out of a set unless I'm mixing in another set with it. Um, and so I have to use, you know, more of them, but um, there are $2.99, so like, do I care that I'm using more? Not really. Um, let's see. So the thumb, I'm gonna try this, the smaller one and see how it goes. Um, I really, really like this design though. It's super pretty. And then it's got, um, I don't know if you can see that on the, the backing of it is like a metallic silver. So it's, it's, um, it is opaque. It's not see-through at all. You know, it's not sheer like the other set was. Um, it's, I mean, this definitely stretches well, which is not typical of the um some of the off-brand ones just 
again because they're essentially a sticker. They don't stretch as well, um, but this is stretching really well without ripping. I mean, I'm sure if I pulled a little harder, it probably would, but um, I'm stretching it the way I would to Color Street, you know, and it's doing, it's doing okay. It's not breaking, so that's good. All right, let's pull this part off. And so the thumbs for me would be the same as in Color Street. I'm definitely couldn't get two fingers out of the thumbs, but I can't with Color Street either. Um, so that's about the same as far as like the, like how long the strip is. Um, the pinkies, I definitely had no problem getting two um, out of one. I don't know. The pointer I didn't, but I don't know. I might have been able to if I stretched it a little bit, but um, I don't know. I might end up taking these off. We'll see. I really like this color. It's super pretty. It's got like this just like chocolatey butterscotchy kind of <laughs> <laughs> color to it to me. It's really pretty. All right. So I think the verdict is going to be that I like them. Um, we'll see how they wear after a couple of days. I'll, um, I'll put some updates, like maybe take some pictures and put them on the community part of the channel so you can see like how well did they wear? Um, I am not super hard on my nails anymore. Um, if those of you that know me know I'm a nurse. So I, when I was seeing patients, I was very hard on my nails. You know, there's lots of hand washing and things that, you know, just not hand sanitizer and all that stuff that I was really hard on my nails. I don't see patients anymore, so I don't have to do the whole, like, you know, washing my hands practically every 10 minutes or using hand sanitizer constantly. Um, so I'm a little less rough on my nails than I used to be, but um, I do still have kids and pets and a house to take care of and all that stuff, so um, they don't they don't have it easy either. <laughs> Um, so we'll see what the, what they wear like, um, but, okay, there it is. What do you guys think? I definitely, like, if I leave these ones, I'm going to need to put some heat on it because I need the wrinkles. If I leave those, I'll lose it. I won't be able to leave them on because that drives me crazy if I get a little wrinkle or anything. So um, there it is. So I will update you guys um, in a couple days on how how they're wearing and I'll post some nail fees and whatnot um, so you can see how they wear over the next couple of days. And that's pretty much it. For this one. Um, I will see you guys again soon with another fabulous Christmas Manny. I think I might do something with my Grinch stickers next time because I'm dying to get those little Grinches on my fingers. So, um, alrighty. Have a good night. Love you guys. Bye.